Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, we are going to do the upgrade to our Xbox One to the new Xbox One experience. So the experience just came out, uh, the newest and latest grade that kind of changes everything around. This is, menu is gonna look a whole lot different, and it's gonna be based on Windows 10, so I'm pretty excited about it. So to get the upgrade, what you need to do, which is available for all Xbox Ones, is you wanna go to your Xbox One controller and hit the menu button. And, that's, and then that comes up. You actually want to go down here to where it says settings. You want to tap on there. And then you want to go to where it says system, which it already jumped to for me. And you should see something right here that says update console. So we want to go ahead and click on that. It's going to say it's time to update. And it looks like the update's roughly around about 1.1 gigabytes of storage or 1,154 megabytes or so. All right, um, we can just go ahead and hit start update and it will begin the download and we'll begin the update. I have my console wired in, not going over wireless, so the update should run pretty fast. You might want to do that just if you want to speed it up a little bit faster. As you can see here, it's downloading pretty quickly. Um, we're already at 15%, so you might want to do that if you uh, want to get the download done quickly. Wireless will probably be just a little bit slower, but we're going to go ahead and let this do the update here and we'll jump back to you when we are on the new Xbox experience. And here we are with the new Xbox One experience. So the update took roughly around 20 minutes or so to complete. Um, we're here in, the, here in the new interface and, and you can see it looks similar but there are definitely some differences. It's more of an up and down sort of uh, menu system. As you can see, it other than previously before, where it was sort of uh, left and right mainly. Um, you can see there's different tabs here for you have this is home. Actually, if you go all the way to the left, you'll actually go to your profile where you can see, you know, your stats, um, your friends. You know, if you want to start a party chat online, messages, uh, notifications, hop into your settings. You can go right from here. And you can look like you can restart the console right there too. Turn it off right from there. And you can snap applications as well too, right from here. If you head back out of there, we'll go to the right here. You have home. Next you have community, which just shows you pretty much what's going on as far as your friends playing games within the Xbox Live community. And um, you can see my boy uh, Six Broadcast right here. He's playing some NBA 2K. Looks like he got an achievement, teacher's pet. You click on that, we can... Um, see what he's unlocked he unlocked it five hours ago let us know what that is and we can comment on it as well too we can do likes if we want to see that shares we can do that as well too it's pretty cool i think we'll give him a like on his achievement like that all righty then we'll just head hit the b button head back out we'll see thunder emperor has been playing some games on call of duty that's uh thunder you from board at work looks like he's been doing a little bit of something something on there as well too all right, head back out. It looks like you can share something instantly right from here. You can type into there. You can share a game clip right from the game clip section that you have. We don't have anything to share this yet. You can refresh. It's probably reloaded. Give us the latest information. There we go. And you can also see this little feed of uh, different games kind of coming up as well too on the right. Next, we have the one guide here. This is basically where all your TV and entertainment is sort of focus, which I like. They can, uh, looks like you have your Fox, Netflix. We can watch live TV, movies from apps, TV shows from apps, apps, channels, my movies and TVs. You get a little trending, uh, what's on, what's trending on TV now, what people are watching. Thursday Night Football, Sports Center. Looks like Conan is trending, E News. Looks like NBA basketball is also trending as well too. We keep going down. We can discover apps. You can see we can have YouTube, uh, Turks and Caicos. Uh, looks like Michelle Font's got something on here. Top comedy, Sling, Crackle, all sorts of. It's got their own sort of section on here. Looks like you can favorite those sections as well too. Pretty cool. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit easier to discover stuff. Next, we hit into the, uh, the store, which brings up uh, games and apps. We have Rise of the Tomb Raider, which we will be downloading and live streaming over the weekend here, hopefully. So if we have some time, we'll be playing that. Really excited for this game. And you can see the new releases, Fallout 4, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Rise of the Tomb Raider. You see Grand Theft Auto, top rated games, Mortal Kombat 10. See that section, if we click on one here, I think it'll bring us to the hub of the game. 
most likely. And so far everything's been actually a lot faster and a lot snappier from what I've noticed here. Yeah, it brings us to this hub here for the game. Let me kind of swipe through the different stuff here. Pretty cool. We'll head back out. We've got apps, just dedicated app section. EA Access, Crunchyroll. Looks like it just has it there. You can download and install the apps from here. Movies and TV, another section. You see the layout's very similar. And you go to music. Looks like now a dedicated music section as well too. You can see music videos, looks like. And lots of Drake hotline and bling. Probably plenty of memes of that you can watch. Uh, top albums and yeah, stuff is right there and that's pretty much it in terms of how it's laid out so when you pretty much when you go right into store that's when you sort of get that extension of everything else when you hit back into sort of the main section here where your themes and stuff are at you can see I still have my Legend of Korra theme you pretty much have the you know four categories here to navigate through you can see at the top they have the uh, but uh, top right corner, you can see at the time and the battery indicator there. It's a pretty nice layout, I have to say. And it's, like I said, it's pretty snappy and pretty fast so far. Let's see if we can hop into uh, settings here real quickly. We'll go scroll back up, go over, hop into settings, see if we see anything that's changed inside of there. Uh, definitely a different layout. You can see personalization. Network, system, preferences, connect and devices, display and sound, power and startup, disc and Blu-ray, the one guide, ease of access. This looks like this is just kind of the same settings you had before, but just sort of uh, laid out and a little easier to find. Yeah, this is definitely a much better layout than the prior layout that they had. Let's go ahead and head back. Let's take a look at... Oh my! Let's see. Another thing I wanted to show you: some of the some of the settings still, like or some of the apps rather. Like if we go into my games and apps, it's not necessarily fully renovated around. It's just they might have changed the skin a little bit, but it looks very similar to what you're sort of used to. So they haven't changed everything deeply just yet, but you can see they um, kept this pretty much the same, and it's actually pretty easy to kind of go through this, and it's just a lot faster. You know, I could tell the responsiveness quite a bit from the original um, experience. We also will see updates to the um, updates as well. That connect, uh, a lot of the connect, connect connected, but the sort of the gestures are gone now. They removed those, they may add those in the beginning. We should still have our Xbox command. So let's see if we can get one going here. Let's see when it's live now, Xbox. Oh, we have it there. Let's see, go home for now. Actually, Xbox, Bing. Let's see if Bing's changed at all. Bing search is pretty much the same as before. Um, I don't even know what it was looking for. Of course, you couldn't find anything because then it made any sense. But I just wanted to see if Bing had changed at all. Not much at all. But um, you can see, pretty good looking, pretty cool interface. So far, I really do like the change here. I was a little worried about this at first. But I think they've done a good job in laying this out a little bit easier, making it easier to find things. It's much faster, more responsive. And I think this crosses between the gamer and the people that love their entertainment and also those that are sort of uh, want to hopefully take advantage of Windows 10 apps that are developers. I can see where a lot of apps will work very well with this so far. So that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, if you've updated yet, if you're going to update, well, you should update because you're going to get Xbox 360 game support as well too, which is pretty cool. And the nice thing here is that you're going to be able to actually jump into the gold section here. You can actually get double games for gold here, as you can see. Now, if you decide to uh, download the games, what you can, well, the cool thing is now you can get Xbox 360 games as well too. So those will also be free for you as well. Pretty cool, but uh, let me jump back out of here. That's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think of the update. I So far, I really like it. Let me know your experiences, how long it took you to download the update. Such if you have any questions, comments, concerns, problems, post them down in the comments section. Let me know what you think. So this is Bowman here from BW1. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube page. It obviously helps us out. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.